My name is Teresita Maribel Uyoa. I am the librarian for the San Ignacio Public Library for almost 19 years. A lot of people believe that libraries are becoming obsolete, that they are not, um, well, they have never been this place that um, bright, beautiful, and something that everybody wants to go to, right? Um, but I wanted to change that. I wanted people to see that libraries are not just uh, books on shelves, right? Libraries can be fun. I wanted to be a teacher, but uh, I applied, actually when I applied, I applied to be a teacher and I applied to, to be a librarian. I applied and the first thing that came up was the librarian. When I went to apply, when I went to the interview, there were like 20 people and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not going to get this job, so I'm just going to do the interview because I already applied for it. And when they called me, I was sleeping. <laughs> I was sleeping and I saw the Miss Carl and I said, this has to be from there, you know. God, please, because I need a job. <laughs> so I, um, and I called back and they said, Miss Teresito, you got the job? And I said, okay. Wow, so um, you have to come to Belize City to train. So I said, oh my goodness. I went to Belize City for a week, came back, and after that, I had to do everything for myself. I'm like, okay, I need to do my reports. I need to do the, what is it to be a librarian? They said, well, you have to stamp books. You have to take care of the library, you know, and so I said, okay. But then I realized, I said, no, being a librarian can be so much more. It does not have to be only sitting behind a desk, you know, and, and stamping books. I started to read more about what it is that you can do for your community in this capacity. What did I do? I said, okay, children are not reading. Our children, they don't have a culture for reading. I said, I'm going to see if I can change that. Anybody who knows libraries knows that we are very resourceful. You know, we, we find um, things that we can um, use like uh, recycled materials and things like that. So we don't have a big budget, so we have to work with what we have. So that was what I had. I had my voice, I had my facial expression, and I have my body language. I went from school to school school to school and asking the principals, please let me perform for your children. Please let me perform for this class. I want to do a story with them. I don't have any props, but I will tell them, I will read them the story and I will tell them a story because reading a story and telling a story is two different things, right? So they were like, all right, go ahead, Miss Terry. And that's how I did it. I, I, I went to every school. I knocked on every door of principals. They can tell you. And, and I did the story. They loved it. The children, they responded very positively. The children know they come into the library and all the stories that I do, that I bring alive, all of those stories is what I get from our collection. That was when I said, I have found my niche. Storyteller. I am not a class clown anymore. I am a storyteller. <laughs> <laughs>